I don't think there's any way I could have avoided, you know, what happened to me. You know, uh, just a regular routine tackle. You know, I tried to brace myself for the fall and just my shoulder just, you know, did what it did. You know, there's nothing I could do about that. Uh, changing my game, my play style. You know, I don't feel like there's anything wrong with my play style. You know, people see me. I'm a big quarterback, so they always think, oh, he wants to run the ball all the time. He wants to be physical, and that's what's going to get him hurt. When that's not the case, you know, the times I did get hurt, you know, is the, the one time, the one concussion. That was me completely because I slowed down by the end zone. You're never supposed to do that. And then everything else, you know, it just just happened because we play a dangerous game, and there's nothing I can do about that. But necessarily changing my play. I don't think I want to change it, but you know, being smart when knowing when to get extra yards and knowing when to get down, I feel like I know how to do that. It's just, you know, now that I, I have to do it and, and do it at the right time, I guess. So I don't think I'm going to change anything, but being smarter for the team, of course. But that's the change. He's getting there. He's getting there. I'm not going to give him a hard time. I'm not going to change my playing style, but I need to be smarter about getting down and getting rid of the ball. That's the point. Don't change the way you play. Change the way the plays end. Get down, get the ball out of bounds, throw the ball away, live to see another day. The Colts aren't going to be everything they can be if Anthony Richardson suffers an injury that knocks him out for the season or for a month of the season. You have to be on the field to fulfill your team objectives and to reach your own maximum potential. You've got to be on the field. There are ways to adjust your playing style to ensure you're on the field, and we're well past the days of making fun of Jim Everett because he took a seat in the pocket. Peyton Manning did it, and we're like, wow, that's really smart. That's where we are now. Quarterbacks need to find a way to avoid a hit. Every hit you take is that hit that can cause your shoulder to do what it did, and you're out for the rest of the year. Yeah, you, you got to be smart. There's got to be, you know, you got to learn that, hey, wait, I'm in a vulnerable position right here, or I don't like this spot. The hell with the extra three or four yards. I'm going to go down, right? And again, it's just another lesson of just uh, we always talk about. The NFL is a different beast when it comes to physicality, contact, the way the game is played. I don't care who you are, the specimen you are, right? At coming out of college, it's different. You know, it's grown men. They're not out of position much, and they're crazier in the NFL than in college. They are. I've only seen one quarterback that can kind of that's made it playing kind of reckless, and that's Josh Allen so far. I mean, he's the only one where we're all, every year we're just like, well, we give up on sliding and doing all that. He's adjusted a little, but he's the only one that can survive what I've seen playing that physical brand of football at the quarterback position. They still don't unleash him as a runner as much They're as maybe the fans think they, they save they him should, from himself. Yeah, every hit is the hit that can cause him to be out for the rest of the year. You kind of hold your breath a little bit every time you see a quarterback decide to run. And then you get the guys who decide along the sideline. And the two big examples for me are Jimmy Garoppolo and before that RG3. Instead of just getting out of bounds, deliver the hit. What happened? Garoppolo tears an ACL. Griffin, in his first game with the Browns, remember it was week one against the Eagles. He he injured his shoulder or yeah. something up in that area, right. and he was out for a long time. You, yeah. you just get out of bounds and set that stuff aside and go back to the huddle and get to the next snap. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.